It's time now for Better Money with Eric Hogarth, and today we're talking about fiduciary advisors and what their role is in your financial planning. Eric is a certified financial planner and partner at Johnson Brunetti. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me, Kara. So we're just going to talk about this as a little bit of financial vocabulary. We hear about financial advisors. I think most people know what those are, but fiduciary advisors are, I guess, a little bit different. So what exactly is a fiduciary financial advisor? So fiduciary gets into the basis of the advice you're giving. So a question you should be asking an advisor that you're interviewing or you're working with is, are you acting in a fiduciary capacity? And what that means, are you making recommendations in the best interest of me, the client, regardless of how much it pays you, the advisor? Because some people are, you know, you are getting commissions in different th situations. So this is, as we see on the screen, an advisor who is legally and ethically required to put your best interest before their own. Sounds like that's what everyone would want. That's what everyone would want. That's what everyone should be doing. And the reality is there are groups of advisors that offer certain products, certain vehicles. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's not that you can't get good advice in that system, but you need to know that a limitation exists that maybe you're getting the best advice limited to what they can provide and not necessarily the best thing for your situation. So you would ask someone, are you a fiduciary advisor? Are you acting in, in a fiduciary capacity? Ask that question. Okay. Mm -hmm. And obviously they should know what that means so that they can answer that. But that's something that you can come in and make sure you're getting what you uh, want for your financial future. And let's talk about the fiduciary standard versus the suitability standard. So again, the fiduciary is the recommendation has to be in the best interest of the client. The suitability standard is, is a way that you look at what someone's financial situation is. And you could have a broker who might not be acting as a fiduciary who says, yes, this recommendation is suitable, but it is not necessarily in the best interest of the client, which sounds vague. And like meaning this is good for you, but they might also be picking that because it's also in their best interest. Th exactly. This is good for you, but it might not be the best option for you, but it's the best option for you that I can sell. And that's to put it bluntly, but that's what it is. Okay. So then you need to ask, are you acting in, are you acting in a fiduciary capacity for you me do. right now? You need to ask that. Okay, if you have more questions for Eric and his team, some good questions, you can know that you're asking the good ones, you can go to bettermoneytv.com, you can fill out the form there, and uh, if people have questions for you, you will answer all of those questions of as course. well. Of course, absolutely. Alrighty, thank you so much, Eric. Thanks, Kat. That's Better Money.